In today's video, we are going to learn to bowl the knuckleball. For this delivery, you want to hold it in your hand like you'd normally hold a ball. But instead of your fingers going over and around the ball, you can pull them back and the knuckle on your forefinger, your pointing finger, and your middle finger are going to be on the ball, applying the pressure to keep it in your hand. To make this happen, we are going to split it up into three different phases. And in these phases, we are going to isolate things and then work them towards bowling it with a full runner. So for the first rule, we need to get used to how the ball feels in your hand when you bowl a knuckleball. So we're going to get into our grip, and then from here, we're just going to really mess around with our arm, do a bit of rotations, work on your wrist, just go around, make sure that it feels comfortable, make sure it doesn't slip out. After about 10 or so seconds, you can release the ball, and you go again. You do a couple of sets of this until you're very comfortable with this position in your hand because it does put a lot of strain on your fingers and it does feel like it wants to slip out every now and again. For the second phase, we are going to be down on one knee to focus just on the arm rotation and to see how the ball reacts from the hand. You are going to go with your full action, pulling through, but no follow through because we're already on the ground. You're going to see how the ball comes out of your hand and in this draw, we're going to learn how to try and control it and try and land it at the same time and see how it bounces, how it moves in the air because with this delivery, it does have a little bit of a wobble, which can make it difficult to hit for the best one. For the third phase, we are now going to move to a short runner. We are going to try and link everything together and still try and hit a good area while bowling the ball. We use a short runner first because there's less momentum and there can be more focus on the action itself and still getting comfortable with the ball in our fingers while we are moving forward and how we're going to get into the crease with it. Once you are comfortable with that, we can now move to our long run-up, our normal run-up, and bowl it from there, trying to hit good areas from there. What you can also do is try and intersperse it with your normal deliveries so that you can get the fuel for both. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like below. Also remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can get the info as soon as it releases. And also, if you want to check any of the other variations, please look here.